good morning guys how's it going today okay so we did like a trial first day of school getting started and I feel like it went really well I just wanted to see like time wise how could it go with me getting up early getting breakfast ready and the kids being here on time so everybody is in their desk on time I told them they had until 9 a.m. they had breakfast they got ready for school, with the exception of Juliet brushing her hair. We gotta remember to brush her hair next time, Susan. So, they all made it to their desks on time, teeth brushed, hair brushed for the most part, fresh clothes, and because of that, everybody is going to earn a reward ticket. And so, here's how the tickets are gonna work. Okay, I told the kids yesterday they could earn some early bird tickets, and Symphony earned them, so she's getting one ticket for being on time to school today, and two for talking loving to her siblings all day yesterday. Thank you. Marie. Juliet gets one ticket today for being on time, and she gets two for talking loving to her siblings all afternoon after I gave the rules. Abram, you get one ticket for being on time today, and you had a couple slip-ups yesterday with talking a little rude. So you're gonna miss out on those early bird special tickets, but don't you worry, there's gonna be other opportunities, okay, bud? Okay. So we can buy like stuff with these. Not yet. Three tickets are not enough to buy something for you yet, okay? So our prize box is over here. The kids have all noticed that I've added some things to it. So let's look through some of the stuff as we do like our fake schedule for today. So today we don't have really many plans. We do at some point, I might have to take Sam to an appointment, but I'm trying to do like a makeshift schedule. So we're not doing book work, but I'm going to be going along the little schedule that I made. I did lots of lesson planning last night as I told you guys. So the first hour basically from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. is going to be like our opening lesson, which is going to be done by me. I'm going to be reading to them. We're going to do our prayer and our pledge. So before we get going with our opening time slot today from 9 to 10, we're still going to fill up our time slots. We're just not going to be filling it up with curriculum. So, does anybody here remember the Pledge of Allegiance? Symphony, would you like to be the leader for Pledge of Allegiance today? Uh-huh. Okay, you guys might notice I put up an American flag right there. So each morning we're going to stand up, we're going to look at the American flag, and we're going to put which hand over our heart. Symphony, can you turn to each of the kids and demonstrate? Oh, our right hand. Our right hand over our heart. Abram, you don't have the right one, buddy. Switch hands. There we go. Okay. So we are going to do the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. And listen, guys, you stay at your desk when you do this. You just face the American flag. So back up over here, sister. All right. Symphony, can you kick us off? To the, to flag, the flag of the United States, States of America. America. And to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There we go. So we're gonna be practicing that. I think we've forgotten some, we've gotten a little rusty because we didn't really do the Pledge of Allegiance during homeschool last year. Call it a mom fail, I don't know, but we didn't do it. And this year I decided we're gonna be doing the Pledge of Allegiance every morning and we're gonna pray. So Abram, would you do our opening prayer for us? Yes. All right, let's sit in our desks, let's get our hands and our bodies nice and still, and Abram's gonna do our prayer. Dear God, um, thank you for this day, and um, please help us to have a wonderful day today, and um. Please um, help us have a good time at school when we start it. And um, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, buddy. For this first time slot, let's all decide where we're going to keep our tickets because you guys are responsible for your tickets and keeping up with them. Where do you want to keep them? I know. I've been keeping my quarters in this cup and I want to keep my tickets in it too. I think that's a perfect idea. In fact, if everybody has a quarter cup somewhere, if you could go get it and we could put it somewhere in here. Can everybody go find their quarter cups for me? Yeah. All right, girls, we don't get to keep the quarter cups at our desk, though. Put them on the shelf and be done with them for the day. We're done with them now. We're going to wait for Abram, and I'll show you a few of the things in there. I, I see something that I like. What do you like? I like those cups. I yeah. like the Baby Yoda cups. So we have a Baby Yoda cup, a Frozen cup, oh, and a Mario cup. Mario, Mario, Frozen so a Mario cup. Yeah, I, I want the Mario cup. Baby I want, Yoda I want cup. the frozen one. We've got <laughs> rocket ship tattoos. What? Sit at the teacher's desk for one subject. So you could sit here for math, history, reading, whichever one. What? Mommy's going to be working on how much everything costs. We've got magnets that you can paint on the front of and then you can put them on the fridge. I like them. So listen, I guys, you're not allowed to touch this. Okay, this is just for mommy. And so when you wanna purchase something out of it, it's just between you and me. We're still in our first hour bracket. I have everything set up, separated into half hour brackets on my lesson plans, except the first one is like an hour because I'm gonna be reading to them and they have this one portion of their curriculum where they know it's called notebooking or like journaling, devotion, whatever. And it's different every single day with the subject focus of 
science, but Bible related. Okay, that's not how we do it at school though. So yeah, I need you to sit back down. Did you become a teacher all of a sudden? Symphony's having a really hard time not giving out rules and being bossy. You're right. You're not wrong. It's just that you have to leave those, those rules up to me, okay? Okay guys, so we have about 45 minutes left in our hour bracket and we're gonna be working on different things today to fill the space, but not school. We will do our Duolingo at some point, so you guys will get to work on your language, practicing your languages, speaking different languages. But for now, we are gonna be going through the toy box, the toy section that I'm sitting on, the, the storage section in this, in this couch right here. Basically everything behind me, all this stuff, and we're going to be picking out what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. Now here's the clicker. All the things you decide to get rid of, if it's in good condition, you can earn money for them. I'm going to be taking them somewhere where they're going to be sold. Let's say because I'm taking clothes, decor, and toys and shoes. Let's say that all together mommy makes a hundred dollars. I make a hundred dollars on all the stuff, okay? I'm going to be giving you guys a portion of it. So depending on how much you each decide to donate of your toys, let's say Symphony decides she doesn't really want to donate much, so she won't make as much money. Let's say Abram donates a ton of old toys. He's going to make more money than you guys do, okay? So you may make $5, you could make $10. It all depends on how much you want to get rid of. We're going to be going through all of this area, and then we're eventually going to be going through each of the bins behind you and the toy box behind you. Now, here's the thing. We have 45 minutes left in this hour. We're going to start on the pink toy box, and you guys are going to do it together. I'm going to be around. Josie's probably going to wake up any minute now. So what's going to happen is if you touch it and it's not yours, you address the person it belongs to and say, do you want to keep it or get rid of it? If the person says, I want to keep it, you set it to the side, it'll eventually end up back in the toy box. If the person says, I want to get rid of it, you get a whole pile of get rid of stuff and I'm going to box them up and someone's going to pick them up in a couple days, okay? 45 minutes on your market set, go. go. And you guys can take turns choosing songs on Alexa. Do not touch the keyboard. We lost the keyboard oh, privilege right. today. You guys are gonna wanna sit down over there. Juliet, do you really wanna keep this? No. Okay, so get it in the donut pile. I wanna keep it. Perfect. Do you want this guitar thing? Of course I want the guitar. Do you want this? That's yours. Um, I don't worry. I don't worry. Five more minutes. Everything left in there after five more minutes is getting donated. Have you guys paid attention? Is there special things down in there? Gone. Um, I don't know. Is there things you guys are going to be sad if you get donated? Yes. I'll be very sad. Alright. Good morning. Good morning. She's getting ready to have her peas and cream oatmeal. <laughs> it sounds gross, but she likes it. The kids are still going in here. We are, it is 11.10. So technically we'd be starting on like our third or fourth thing by now. And so they are, they've moved on to some smaller bins. The toy box is all done. Look how much space we have. The kids are off the gym. I'm staying home, even though I feel like I could probably get in the car and hang out with them. I'm going to take it easy, you know, because I keep making the mistake of I feel good today and I get active and then the next day it all hits me at once. Help. See if you no. can see the outfit you made your doll. Let okay, I put her in the car. I made this bumblebee costume for my doll. That is so cool. Where'd you get the material? Um, this I got from yard sale. Okay. This Rachie gave me and then this was just card stock. It is is that glue? Um, it's white fabric glue to make it more like sturdy so it doesn't fall off. Oh, it's cool. Cute little Gretchen and designer. And I did her hair like this. Hi, baby boo boo. Baby boo boo. Oh, oh my word. So, so cute. Good, sweet. Whoa. She, she okay? Shy. She got shy of you. Bye, Jojo. Wow, guys. I am so excited that I'm up and walking. I can't even describe to you guys the pain that I endured yesterday. I thought for sure just my back was done. Man, praise God for medicine. My gosh, I cannot believe I'm able to walk around. I started reading some stories of people with sciatica and how it's just completely flipped their lives upside down and everything. And gabapentin, 
medication. It's, a, it's actually used for uh, seizures and for nerve pain and nerve damage and that kind of thing. But I don't know if that's what's doing it. But all I know, once I started taking it, I feel like the pain is just like gone as far as like walking around. I can still reproduce the pain by bending over a certain way. I don't want to, but I can tell if I did, I could reproduce it. A great machine for sciatica I learned while doing my studying is the inverted table where you lay on your back and it flips you upside down and you slowly get yourself hanging upside down so your spines can stretch out and open up and I guess help with the bulging discs and the pressure on your disc compression and stuff. I'm looking into getting one of those too. I'm so thankful to the Lord right now that I'm up and walking and being with my family a little bit. Man, the past few days or a couple weeks have been pretty demoralizing. Man, I'm ready to get, get after it but I'm gonna take it slow. It's a lot cleaner and picked up than I thought it was gonna to get tonight before bed. I am exhausted. This was our first day of like trial and error for the schedule for school, so I got up a little earlier than what I'm used to. However, I better get used to it, right? So I wanted to show you guys kind of like how the playroom ended up after getting all the stuff like dug out that the kids were doing today. This bad boy actually closes. We've got this and all its animals. I'm not sure what happened over here, but a lot of the things that were in the toy box that the kids wanted for their LOL dollhouse came and, and now lives here. I feel like I just have to let it happen. It goes with this dollhouse. It doesn't look very nice and neat at the moment, but it's better than it being in the bottom of the toy box, right? So the last thing is that we, this was the last little thing that they went through. And it was like you couldn't close the lid. It was like like open like this. So there's so much room in there for as you know, just random straggler toys, which that's kind of the goal. I mean, you want to have bins where you can just throw the random toys in. So we've got dress up bin, Barbies, American Girl, and that those are laser guns up there. It's not perfect by any means, but it's so much better than it was. I have two ba two bags full of toys over here, and you know who knows? I mean, honestly, sometimes I'm thinking like. This is in good shape, but it's not perfect. Like, would I buy that? I would buy that at a yard sale, but would I buy it at a consignment shop? I don't know. And so I'm a little bit, I'm almost hesitant to send some of the stuff when they come and pick it up. But I've been talking to my friend Brittany and she's like, girl, just send it. We weed through it. That's the beauty of it all. We're going to go through it for you. And so, you know, you never know, but stay tuned because it's going to be an ongoing thing. So they're picking it up in a few days. I'll try to show you guys that process too. And then in even, you know, a few more days after that, I'll get to go shop the early bird stuff. And so I'm super excited about that. So my first official lesson and plans I've printed them out they're in the school area and honestly between that and getting the stuff in the playroom the way that I wanted it or the way like me me and the kids like you know they made a lot of choices today it was really like all up to them what stayed and what went but between those two things I'm feeling extremely productive so we're gonna call it a day Sam got my favorite ice cream I'm whispering it just in case someone's asleep I mean some people can hear me baby's gonna go down any minute now I've tried to keep her up a little late because she had a weird night last night. So she slept a lot today. So I'm trying to keep her up a little late. I can hear her starting to fuss in there. She's been playing with Sam. But anyways, come back tomorrow. There's always something fun going on. Sam is starting to seem more like himself. So maybe we'll even get out and about and do something as a family tomorrow. I don't know. Stay tuned and we'll see you guys there. Don't forget, he loves you. And remember to love each other. Hey, little sister. Hey, she's so excited. She's so excited to be here.